All right, people, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another first reviews reaction video with your big boy buddy Gore. And I'm here to take a look at the first reviews for the Callisto Protocol, which is uh, unique in a sense because I've, I've been playing the Callisto Protocol. Uh, I got it last week and I've been playing it since. And I've been having a great time with it. I think it's great. I can finally say it. It's great. The embargo's up. It, I really like it. Now, I'm only six to seven hours into it. I will say the game is super intense, and my little baby bitch face uh, can't handle too much intensity for too long. Um, so I play about an hour every other day, it seems like. But it's really fun. It is really good. It has a couple problems on PS5. It has like some visual issues and some frame rate issues, uh, even on performance mode. Um, I even downloaded the update that came out a few hours ago and played like another 30 to 40 minutes and still had some issues, um, especially for uh, frame rate. I was like, oh, is it, is, did it fix the frame rate? Immediately I started playing and it opens up in this big area and it's fucking, <laughs> it dropped hard. I was like, nope. Um, and when I say drop hard, it, it goes down to around the 30 frames uh, when it's you know on performance mode. I'm assuming it stays relatively smooth. I, at least I hope so. Well, no, I guess if the, if the visuals are better on the regular mode. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so the reviews finally came out, and uh, I gave it some time. I was recording a podcast, so I gave it some time. There should be plenty. Um, I was just about to watch G-Man Lives uh, review, which his title didn't seem like the most... I don't know. His title was just like, it's a survival horror game. I don't know. <laughs> Is that a good thing? I don't know. It didn't spoil it, whatever he thinks. Um, so, uh, yeah. Let's let's find out what people think. I'm, I think it's great. Does it have a couple problems? Sure. But I'd assume pretty high scores. That's why yeah, this is this is a weird one. This is a weird one because I'm really expecting high scores. So um, let's find out. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna guess low 80s. That's my guess. 82 is my guess. All right, let's find out. Click. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Ah, uh, maybe the game fucks up towards the end. All right, so. Uh, hey, all right. <laughs> 76 oh wow that's a lot of reviews too shit 76 when i played it i legitimately think it's like a high eight maybe even a nine right now i really the combat's so good it's so tense it's really fun it has some frame rate issues sure but like besides that like it's so much fun it's so good it's creepy it's not so super scary but maybe that's a negative i don't know all right let's see oh it has a 10 oh all right all right all right, all right hold on let's see IGN gave it a 7? The Callisto Protocol is a satisfyingly gory spiritual success of the Dead Space series, but it's ultimately more of a striking modern mimic than a scary new mutation. I will say, it feels more like... Like... I don't know. It has, like, the combat of, like, maybe, like, an uh, a, an old... Like, not older, I'm sorry. A more recent, like, Silent Hill game. Where it's kind of got, like, the dodge and stuff. Uh, it feels more like something like that. Maybe even, like, Last of Us. Uh, with its combat, whenever you get real close, um, then it feels like Dead Space because the guns themselves are pretty satisfying. You get a shotgun that's really good, um, but it is definitely more, you know, more more of a, a melee based game. At least it, you should play it like that because it's the the melee combat. I think is awesome. I, I really like it. I like how intense it is. Love the dodging. Once you get used to it, it's really good. Uh, so 10, 9.5, 9.1, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Oh, Kanye West is going to love me if I keep saying that nine. Uh, the Callisto Protocol is violent and brutal. Oh, this is a uh, guy is a geek, by the way. It's brutal with stunning visuals, but its intimacy causes a few problems that are hard to overlook. I was going to say, the intimacy is the best part of that game. You get intimate. No, I, I'm assuming it means like you're alone a lot of times, right? That's that's what we want. <laughs> we, I mean, you are, but for the most part, you're not all the time but whatever horror fans can't avoid this title ingenious extremely atmospheric visuals and an extremely finely woven carpet of sound and a juicy portion of gore make callisto one of the scariest games of all time i wouldn't say the game's like that scary maybe maybe because I'm, I'm about like six seven hours in so i'm assuming the game's around 10 to 12 so i'm, I'm getting close to the ends but but let's just say i have like half the game left um the first half is usually the part that really scares you the most. And then it get like dead space. That was definitely the case for me when you're like really under powered and, and you're like fucking fish out of water pretty much. That's when it's the scariest. Then it gets less and less scary, obviously. Cause you're going to fuck, you have like 400 different weapons that murders them instantly. Um, they're scared of you. You become the doom slayer at that point. 
Um, the Callisto Protocol convinced from the beginning with a great atmosphere and interesting story. The story is actually really good. I really like the characters too. Jacob Lee and uh, and da Danny are great. Uh, Elias is great. You know, shout outs to Elias. Best, best man. He's my boy. An interesting story and beautiful graphics. Also, the gameplay is really satisfying throughout the game. Some technical issues uh, imped the uh, high score, but it's a, it's still a contender for Game of the Year for sure. If they just fix some of those problems, it would definitely be in my top probably my top three it probably still is honestly but it'd probably be higher a little higher uh, i won't say what my number one is not that anybody gives a shit the callisto protocol is the real sequel to dead space that we never had dead space 2 is great i don't want to fucking hear it. and we and maybe it just means like another sequel like a, a dead space 4 or the actual dead space story uh that we never had uh and it took uh glenn Schofield to return to the horror game to get it however even if the game takes up all the codes of ea survival horror with its stressful atmosphere perfectly mastered and its really enjoyable gore side the cluster protocol also in innovates thanks to its melee combat system which allows interesting combinations and obliges you to plan your battle plan well otherwise it will be quickly overwhelmed a great success and we want a sequel w with even more ideas that is 100 percent true like at, at first i thought the the new stasis replacement was a little underpowered but it's a perfect balance with the melee combat and the in the gunplay because it's not as strong and awesome as the stasis i don't think so at least but it's fucking really useful when you're in battle like when someone's coming at you and you have another guy you're dealing with you fucking push that other guy away maybe there's a spike wall fucking kill him real quick maybe blow it blow it up with a tank or whatever um it's very useful there's a point point in the story where I don't want to say what happened, but like you're overwhelmed by enemies and there's barrels everywhere. I'm like, oh, it's Christmas, baby. And I had a couple of those things to recharge your, uh, it's called grip, your grip meter. Uh, oh, it's Christmas. It was all those body parts explode. Ah, oh, rain down heavenly upon me. All right. Dexerto. A wonderfully exhausting exercise in futility is probably the best way of describing the Callisto Protocol. As no matter the strength of my own resolve, I was constantly on edge and re reveling in those fleeting moments where the game allowed me to breathe following yet another life-threatening fight. The constant fear and dread incited by the phenomenal visual and sound design are only complemented by the compelling story. The Callisto Protocol is hopefully the start of an exciting new franchise. I hope so. And is another sign that survival horror is anything but dead. Yes... Uh, let's go into some lesser reviews. A five. A couple fives. Uh, it's a shame that the Callisto Protocol is so uninteresting at its core. Fucking wrong. Though it looks gorgeous on the surface. A dozen of uh, a dozen hours of nothing special. A dozen hours. I guess it's about 12 hours. Okay. Can have a clarifying effect like a monstrous two-headed enemy banging Jacob's head oh, okay into the ground until it collapses. The game's tedium forces you to beckon with the... Oh, reckon whatever beckon reckon forces you to reckon with the fact that there isn't there just isn't much once the facade splatters away i do not agree <laughs> but okay uh these problems and others make much of the Callisto protocol uh, ultimately feel like a wasted pro potential I, I can't read for what may be one of the most high, you know what this might help a little bit yeah oh it feels good in my retinas uh maybe one of the most highly detailed sci-fi horror environments ever seen in a game its rooms and hallways remain an empty though grisly backdrop i don't really agree there, there's a lot of like dead bodies scattered around and items obviously and there, there's a lot of like good stuff like lived in details in those environments i, I don't 100 percent agree but I, I guess i could see you all right uh rarely presenting environmental narrative i I don't know. Anything to interact with or a compelling pathway through? Killing mutants in the first hour feels identical to killing them in the last, and three difficulty levels only seem to affect mutant health pools. Okay, uh, that's good to know. Maybe the Callisto Protocol's upcoming DLC will breathe new life and wander into its world, but Black Iron Prison remains a far cry from the dynamic decks of the USG Ishimura. I guess that's one thing you could compare it to. Like, uh, Dead Space felt like it was very like you, you you weren't expecting when they would pop out this game i will say there's a lot of times where i'm like and cue the jump scare yep there it is but the combat's so good that's the thing like sure it's not super scary but the game is good and it, there's not a lot of moments like that too like most of the time when you're fighting an enemy you know they're there before they jump out you or whatever uh it's really only the beginning of the game the beginning of the game had a few moments where i'm like oh god damn it i don't want to go down that hallway but now i'm just like fuck them let them come i got a shotgun bitch i ain't scared and then i get scared because they pop up but then i kill them so like who's who's really scared 
me, the alive person, or the fucking dead hunk of piece of shit meat on the ground that has a bunch of shells in its face. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, I'm me. I'm the man. No, I'm not scared. I'm the man. I'm the goddamn man. Anyway, the Callisto Protocol is an atmospheric graphics phony that can run... <laughs> what? <laughs> Graphics phony that can rival Dead Space only in rudiments in terms of gameplay. I mean, I, I mean, I, I really don't think it's it plays almost anything like Dead Space, even when it has the guns. Like, there's one point where you go on a ship, I guess. Um, not for long, but uh, I guess the prison you could say is a ship. That's the one thing I will say so far. Like, the prison itself, I was hoping for like. A little bit more prison stuff you know we don't really get that i will say like just anything like even like maybe a crew there that's still alive like you know yeah like a, the prisons have their own like gangs and shit like that that would have been kind of cool you you like a, run into one and you actually not that you want you have to fight with them but you have to like do something or whatever i don't know yeah because i don't want to fight humans last time we fought humans in dead space fucking didn't work out let's just say uh, through its rhythm and its brutality, Callisto Protocol manages to put player, eh, player, just one, in constant tension and discomfort, offering a memorable experience. Oh, this is from France. Okay, that makes sense. And now I feel bad. Uh, check one Okay. Uh, beautiful audio visuals and heaps of gore almost uh, managed to cover up the lack of innovation in the Callisto Protocol. I feel like the, its combat system is pretty, it's not like innovative, but it's different from what we see most of the time. We, most of the time we don't see melee in full on survival horror games. It's usually shooties pew pew you know everything in this game feels done many many times before but nonetheless we're having fun okay well shut the fuck up then <laughs> no, i'm just kidding all right let's see series x come on now it should have been higher how about pc hey there you go uh even though i keep hearing the pc version is not great uh from people on twitter <clears throat> xbox one no okay all right so that seems like it's it oh it, it got another review wasn't it just 34 all right, we're, we're going to go open critic anyway. I, I trust them more so than in, actually. Hold on. I'm not going to say that until I see the score. Let's see. Because I really, I really, I think this is like, should have been in the 80s, 100%. All right, let's see what, what we got. 75, man, fuck open critic. But, oh, Marvel's Midnight Suns, though, 83. I knew it was pretty high. I didn't look yet. Where the fuck is Need for Speed Unbound? A six? What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, close to protocol. I guess we'll look. How many reviews? Thirty-four. All right, so about the same. Uh, five out of ten from Gamespot. Wait, what was one of those I read from Gamespot and didn't even notice? I didn't give it a seven. Game Informer gave me a six. Damn. What the fuck? What what game? Maybe maybe it fucks up in the last half. But the first half of the game I played was great. Again, it could fuck it up. I get. I guess that is true. I don't know. It, it, it's really good. <laughs> A strong note of Callisto Protocol's focus on action-heavy spectacles fails to adequately explore its horror and overcrowds its weak. Weak! The combat mechanics are great! What? I, I, I just... I, I, what? The I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe, I was, uh, maybe I'm smoking some shit. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it does suck. I don't know. Maybe yeah, I'm getting gaslit. <laughs> <laughs> these reviews oh you know it was bad you're right <laughs> all right well anyway there you go that's it that's first reviews for callisto program hey at least midnight suns is good i mean this is it's 75 is good i don't give a fuck what anybody says but midnight suns is good let's take a look at that real quick let's take a dip <sighs> yeah look at this wow oh well, the guys at the xcom did a good strategy game oh wow who would have fucking thought it's almost like people that were saying this game looks bad uh, don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I couldn't I couldn't believe everybody was saying this game looked bad. They were just saying that because it wasn't like a, another stupid-ass fucking Ultimate Alliance game. I shouldn't say that. I like Ultimate Alliance. But uh, <laughs> for this bit right here, it's stupid. And you're dumb. For <laughs> like, you know. I'm just kidding. Anyway. Yeah, it's good. I don't need to read any. Uh, I rented this from Gamefly, so I probably won't get it until like early next fucking year or some shit. Because they take fucking forever. That's fine. I still need to finish Callisto Protocol, which is great. Okay? Anyway, that's it. Uh, goodbye!